the best souvenir you can get. They are not enjoying the beach life in here. A lot of parts like this one. It is really, really, really pink. I'm so scared. I'm so scared. Hello, mom. How are you? <laughs> Hi, everyone. Hello. And welcome on beautiful and colorful island of Bonnell. So this is the second island of the ABC Islands. So we've been to Curaçao, Bonaire, and next one will be Aruba. So we are going like from CBA instead <laughs> of ABC. But here we are now in Bonaire. And first of all, we're gonna show you around the city center. And from tomorrow, we will have a car for a few days. So we can also visit some nature and some beaches. And we really can't wait to show you around. We are right at the main street where you can see the beautiful and colorful buildings of Bonaire and on this street you can find also some restaurants, coffee shops and shops and uh, right behind the buildings you've got a harbor where more uh, restaurants are located and there you can also enjoy a beautiful sunset. So the main attraction here in Bonaire are definitely the flamingos because even the airport is called Flamingo Airport and in every window of every shop you can find some flamingos so it is probably the best souvenir you can get here in Bonaire. You have also here like a water taxi which is collecting the people from the bar to get them to the Eden beach or also to climb Bonaire. local restaurant to get some light lunch and uh, we've got two sandwich one mine is with salt fish which I absolutely love so I'm really really excited to try this one and Igor's is with oh, <laughs> Igor's is with uh, scrum eggs and let me try it You're hungry. <laughs> I'm really hungry, but this one's also really, really delicious. I love it. So let me also try my egg sandwich. I didn't eat for 18 hours. <laughs> Just a big bite. <laughs> I'm hungry, but it's good. Today is also a really special day for us because... It is our f fifth anniversary. So we met in. Good, uh, good job, Igor. <laughs> we met in 2017, mm -hmm. and we had our first day on, I think, March 18th, and since April 19th, we are together. So it's already five years. So I uh, I waited just one month to ask her if she wants to be with me in a relationship. I heard up, but it went well, and because of this celebration. We gonna have some dinner in a really nice restaurant. We made already a reservation and we can't wait to grab some tasty food from here. For tonight's dinner I got salad. It's uh, avocado and shrimp salad and Igor got impossible <laughs> burger which is a plant-based burger. Hi. Today in the morning we were able to pick up the car, so we are now fully mobile. <laughs> and today we're gonna look around for the most beautiful beach here on Bonaire Island. So our first beach for today is the Te Amo beach and we saw some chairs there, so we also think that someone got married here. It could at least be the name. And, uh, it is quite a nice beach, it's not that big, but it's like five minutes outside the city center. So it's perfectly located. It's not huge, but you have everything you need. The beach is really nice, the sand is really soft, and the watercolor is always really beautiful. So we just arrived to Donkey Beach, but I see no donkeys. I just saw two, how do you call them? Goats. Goats? But they were on the other side of the street, so they are not enjoying the beach life in here, probably. <laughs> and this one, it's quite rocky, so I don't think this is perfect for 
your uh, day to spend in here maybe if you got like um, water shoes maybe it would work but I don't think this is the perfect beach for us for today right yes so, I mean you can definitely lay down you can yeah. go into the water it looks also really yeah shallow. water is beautiful yeah. of course like everywhere in here Further you will find a small part here which has also some sand. It is not huge but here are definitely a few people relaxing and having a good time. So it's not everything from stone. You can come here and relax or go to one of the other beaches and that's what we are doing now. So we are at the third beach for today which is Bachelor Beach and this one's really nice. It's really really beautiful. The sound is almost white and the water it's really crystal clear but the uh, point why we are, cannot really stay here it's the water it's coming so close you are not able to uh, put your stuff on the beach so you need to stay like on the rock so yeah because of this you are not really allowed to <laughs> enjoy your day in here maybe if you're gonna sit on the rock and uh, but it's still really really beautiful and we will try to get downstairs to get downstairs you need to take a stairs and you need to leave your sandals in here otherwise the water can take them like it did with my shorts right yeah <laughs> so let's go down This is what Sara was talking about. You have this small area here where you potentially could put your towels, but as you can see next to this woman, the water is coming really close. So it is not really recommended to do it. Come on. Super refreshing, eh? Yeah, I love it. <laughs> Starfish. <laughs> I love it. You got such a long legs. Yeah, I'm huge. <laughs> so, if you don't know how tall I am, guess in the comments. <laughs> you can't win anything, but maybe you're right. You will you will win an answer from us with a lot of hearts like this one <laughs> <laughs> We are heading a little bit further, so we hope that we will have a better angle to see the pink lake and also to see the salt um, pyramids. Uh, pyramids. And uh, it also started a little bit to rain here, so rain in the paradise. <laughs> but that won't stop us to catch some good pictures. You have here some nature in front of you and behind it's already the sea. And 
this side you have the famous pink lake the color is coming from algae which are inside the water and here a little bit more on the right you have also the salt pyramids and it reminds us a little bit of Egypt in the middle of Bonaire. We are now in front of the old slave pass and this is unfortunately the sad part about this old salt facility. So like one or two hundred years ago the slaves who worked in the slave facility they were staying here during the evening and had to walk like two or three kilometers in this direction to the salt facility and what is also really sad that these heads are really small so I don't know how many people fit in here but I'm sure they didn't have enough space yeah it is a sad part but uh, also the heads are still here to keep in mind what happened back then and that this never should happen again we came to this place because we saw some funny looking palms because you definitely could see where in which direction the wind is blowing but guys this place is so mind-blowing look at this you have the beautiful color it is really breathtaking and you have these funny looking palms <laughs> Quiz time. Guess in which direction the wind is blowing. <laughs> Very hard. <to> guess. <laughs> On our way to the next beach, we were just driving and then we saw another pink lake right here behind us. And what is also really fascinating is this white thing here. It looks a little bit at first sight like salt, but it's foam so it's really really soft and it's fascinating i don't know why it is here but it has to be something with the water but it's really fascinating hey we don't have any food for you i'm scared to touch him <laughs> wow they're so pretty <laughs> I'm so scared! I'm so scared! Don't bite me! Oh. Where is it? Take it! <laughs> Just throw it outside the window. Where is it? Okay, wait one second. One second. Okay, go, go, go! Take it, take it, take it, take it! Oh, yeah! You did it! Take it, take it! You can't eat it like this, Sarah. Okay, go. Go. It's out. I'm scared. It's out there. It's out there. <laughs> it's out there. Sorry, you have to give small pieces. <laughs> this one is... Clever. Clever. Give it in small pieces. Give it... Okay, take it. Take it now. You see, he can't. <laughs> oh God. The color rental will kill us for this. Okay, go. That's enough. <laughs> this, ladies and gentlemen, is the Lakai Beach. So we had to drive about 15-20 minutes outside the city center to get here it is quite windy like everywhere in Bonaire but here because of the wind you have also some bigger waves so it is not perfectly to take a dip but nevertheless we're gonna check out the area and see how it looks this one is Sara doing her Instagram stories <laughs>
over there is like a little little small beach <laughs> and there are not that many people here around and the water is also really shallow so as you can see the guys over there they are still standing so it's really flat but it looks really nice and you have enough sun you have enough space for you so you definitely can enjoy it to get from this side of the beach to the other one you have to walk through the water but the set is really shallow it's really flat so you can easily walk over there i hope i won't regret it now it's really easy and there is already the second part of the beach we decided that we will stay here for a while because we like it here and now it's time for me to get my bikini and for Sarah to get her swim truck and then we are ready to refresh <laughs> ourselves. <laughs> Hi everyone! Hello! Today on our list was to visit Wayaka. It is like a beautiful place with a beautiful beach but we were driving there it should take us about 50 minutes from the city center and once we were on our way we saw that we have to go through the national park to the Washington National Park yeah so Sarah went to ask at the office how much is the ticket and it was 45 dollars per person yeah. honestly this is ridiculous <laughs> without you don't have a guide you don't have anything just to enter the park you have to pay 45 dollars so 90 dollars for two of us so we definitely decided to turn around and go somewhere else and today we are now standing at we are in the rincon which is a valley and we are standing in front of maps of rincon i believe this is the uh, this is the name of the place and inside there should be the oldest house here in rincon it should be or about oldest house of bonaire yeah oldest house of bonaire and it should be about 200 years old so let's check it if it's really there because the lazy lady at the office wasn't really sure what i'm talking about <laughs> This is the map of the Rincon area as mentioned and we are now here standing and somewhere here should be this oldest house so we will hopefully find it. A little bit history time so back in 1499 the Spanish people discovered the islands of Bonaire, Aruba and Curaçao but because they didn't find any gold or any other treasures they even called the islands the useless islands as you can see here and they also enslaved the people from here and took them to the today's known Dominican Republic and Haiti and at this time Holland was also under Spanish rule but because they had a religious conflict with uh, the Spanish government they didn't have any access to salt anymore luckily they could find the salt here in Bonaire so they found their treasure and they even called it the white gold because the Spanish people said the islands are useless and they left but only a few soldiers were here it was easy for the Dutch people to fight against them and since 1636 the Dutch took possession of Bonaire one more interesting fact about the old slave huts we didn't know how many people lived inside this house so here it's written that by 1850 when transatlantic slave trading was nearing its end the dutch decided to give the slave better provisions such as clothing shoes a hat and even a luxury such as a pipe and they had to choose if they want like a bigger house for all the slaves or if they want like small hats and they decided to go with the hats because uh, two people could live here inside so they had a little bit more room and also it was cooler and they had more privacy. Bonaire is also known for kadushi which is an, a liquor, an alcohol and it's made of cacti. So people in here are using cacti to make an alcohol. They uh, use it to make a window frame for example. Uh, they use it to make a soup and also to make a fence. <laughs> we were really, really surprised about this fact when we saw it. And the cacti grow five to 10 centimeters per year and then can be 10 to 12 uh, meters high. 
During our trip, I was always joking around with Sarah that these iguanas are like little dinosaurs. And here I read the fun fact that when they are born, they are about 20 centimeters. But when they are grown up, they can be up to 120 centimeters. So they are definitely like dinosaurs. We are talking all the time about Rincon, but we didn't really mention what it is. So this is the oldest village here on Bonaire. So back in 1527, when the Spanish people came here, they built this village. And it is a little bit far from the coast, so it is still safe if pirates are attacking. And also the location is chosen because it has good access to fresh water. Hey fella! Dinosaurs in Bonaire. And if you are not totally wrong, this is the oldest house in Rincon called Cas Criollo. And I don't know how old exactly it is, but the second oldest one was from 1824, if I remember right. So this one has to be even older. And this is the typical kind of architecture they used back then. Our last stop for today are the Thousand Steps or the Thousand Steps beach but actually you don't have to be scared because first we heard also Thousand Steps we said oh my god it's so hot and we have to walk like Thousand Steps that's crazy but there are only about 80 steps so we counted them for you so it's totally easy as you can see behind me the beach is beautiful water is crystal clear blue as like everywhere here in Bonaire the only minus maybe is that the whole beach is with stones like this coral reef stones so it's not really comfortable to lay down but because of these stones the water is so clear you can see like every fish this is it guys so you may see from our background that we are not in Bonaire anymore we are already on our next destination but we forgot as always to make the outro so to summarize everything we really liked Bonaire first impression was hmm, maybe it's a little bit too wild and you yeah. don't have any public transport there but uh, we rent a car we visited so many beautiful places it is definitely more wild than for example Aruba or Curaçao but yeah. it is beautiful what I also wanted to mention the best part of our Bonaire adventure was the renting the car because then we could see and visit all the beautiful places like the beaches, even the wild ones. We had some experience with the wild donkeys, which was my highlight actually. So we think the best part is to rent a car, just drive around and find the place which fits you the most. And also don't forget if you are in the city center go to the harbor and watch the sunset because yeah. we didn't have so many normal sunsets I would yeah. say because it was really cloudy but on our last day we probably saw the best sunset ever in our yeah, it whole was life. So <laughs> it was so unreal but it was looks like really, Photoshop actually. Yeah, <laughs> but it was really breathtaking. So if you did like our video don't forget to like it, subscribe to our channel and leave a comment. Thanks and see you in the next one. Bye. Bye.